Hello, we got me, Nerd 16 here on commentary along with Treasure, and we are going to be watching Cyber versus Booker. Booker. Yeah, so uh, the stats are going to be lying here. We're 0-0 zero, zero as we get started at the very beginning of this match. Uh, the two of them are squaring up. Not too large of blows going either way as they both struggle to try and get in. So the interesting part about this matchup is Cyber really was like having a hard time with Booker at the beginning of the season. Um, we are all on the same team of Lincoln Lane Community College, and uh, oh, that was a nice, nice. Uh, forward air to go for. And uh, at the beginning, Cyber just kept saying, he's throwing against us, he's throwing against us, and, and Booker thought it was funny because he kept saying I'm in his head. Uh, more and more we see Cyber's confidence grow every single time he comes in here. He's become a better player, and uh, I think lately we've seen Cyber take this. Yeah, and this is definitely a storied matchup, so they know a lot of each other's habits. That was a phenomenal call out there, Cyber evening up this percentage count and the stock count. Barely taking any damage on the last one, despite taking, uh, losing his stock quite a bit earlier. And he is taking full control here. Wolfson Go, though, is going to convert it with a nice down air. And his grounded uh, up B also stack a lot of damage on Cyber, suddenly clinging on for dear life. Ah, uh, I was just playing against Booker a few, uh, or actually just a set ago. And he has to watch out for those back airs. I'm pretty sure ZSM, or ZSM is a very light character, but I'm not exactly sure how light. So this is a terrifying matchup for him. Right now we're seeing Cyber do some good stage control, keeping uh, Wolfsome off, keeping center stage, real smart gameplay through him. He's not over committing ever, and he's making sure he gets his two hits in, and then he walks off whenever he can. Ooh, these stock or these percentages are getting real high here. Cyber Knight lands a nice. Oh, that was an there. amazing uh, call, uh, fake hop. What? Uh, worked. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. All right, Booker's really got a got something to prove here. He's looking for that side B. It's great to kill out this percent. A downer is also going to do it. And once again, they're pretty even on the top of this stock. Booker going for those grabs yet again. They get a lot of mileage for him. But Cyber's going to get in with a downer and get underneath him on that platform. Just continuing that leverage as he gets the neutral B. Doesn't capitalize on it though. I really appreciate the uh, downer mix-ups that Cyber has been trying to integrate into his play as of late. You'll see him jump over and a lot of people expect him to uh, fall with like a nair, a forward air, something. But he he, he does it down there, and a lot of people are surprised to see that. He, he gets good conversions off of it. Booker got really greedy there with the forward smash. He's going to continue to get punished for it. Cyber doing a great job of keeping on the edge, but he just can't find that kill point until poke. he pokes the shield. Wow. Ah, uh, that sucks. I always make fun of Cyber because every single time people are in that situation, he always just throws a back air above them, and he'll keep doing it over and over and over. Right there, uh, Cyber not doing that and actually falling down with the back air and uh, catching somebody holding shield. Very smart gameplay through Cy for, from, from Cyber right there. Yeah, and that was a really dominant last stock after that uh, back and back and forth gameplay throughout the first two stocks. Uh, let's see. I'm trying to think if uh, I know where we're going to end up with this stage. It might just be right back to Pokemon Stadium 2 with these I two I think that is small battlefield. <laughs> I 100% yeah. think that's what's going to happen. Because I doubt Cyber wants to take him to Triplex, and uh, I don't think FD's extremely good for either character. Ooh, Battlefield. Okay, okay. maybe I'm wrong. Imagine what, that's a uh, town and city Yoshi's. Possibly. I know and that Battlefield he... makes sense. He doesn't want to go Yoshi's because he's going to die extremely early from some stupid Bowser stuff. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty character. surprised by Battlefield again. Battlefield's yeah. a little bit wider on the uh, sides. I'm not terribly surprised. I was actually seeing that when you get side B and uh, land on the top platform, it only kills you like 5% earlier. It's a yeah. little bit of a misconception, and people are just a little bit more scared of it than they actually have to be. Well, regardless, these platforms are definitely going to add some more landing options here, uh, but it will make it easy to keep someone in disadvantage. Uh, that the was the weirdest the cyber gameplay I've ever or, or seen there. He raw up beat and then forward smash. I never see him forward smash, and I don't know. Very strange things coming from Cyber right now. Yeah, some some interesting plays. He is uh, doing a great job of staying underneath Wolfson though, and uh, he uh, really likes to use that downer to get down. And actually, I think those platforms are going to be really nice for keeping Cyber safe underneath that and more options for keeping Wolfson off of him with the downer. That is throwing me off the Wolfson tag here because I'm so used to calling him that even though it's been a while since he used the tag. He's a but Booker regardless. Days. Yeah, I'm surprised that he used the Wolfson tag as well because I thought he was uh, getting away from that. 
Yeah, it's one of these uh, legacy setups that still has no name. So I've been getting a lot out of these up smashes while Booker's on above on one of those platforms. And with the stock deficit, Cyber's really looking to get ahead going on even more percent. Once again, one of those up smashes getting great value. Man, one straight hit from ZSS can lead to plenty of damage. It is hard to get away for Booker. He just has to make solid reads and, uh, well, not overcommit to anything. Because Cyber can get a bunch of good, uh, damage. That was a good back air right there to send him uh, to, uh, straight to the last zone. I really like Cyber's play around Wolfson's shield. He's playing very patiently, waiting for Wolfson to go for an option, and it's paying off time and time again. Because once Booker's taking a couple hits on the shield, he just really wants to get out and try and get that hit to get out of disadvantage state. Uh, now bullying him off stage. Oh my god, Cyber's just not missing an option. Didn't quite get the punish off of that stun, but Booker is at so much percent that uh, something like an up smash or an up B is easily going to give him the kill oh, or they're even doing it as well. Okay. Well, you take the option less effective. I'm playing against uh, Booker just a set ago, as I said, and uh, he sure does like the forward smash randomly, so uh, Cyber's going to have to play meticulously around that and a few other things because. Uh, Booker's really good at feeling out the type of approaches that you like to do. And maybe that's why I'm seeing a little bit more of an unorthodox approach from Cyber right now. Yeah, it's great call outs. Uh, there's one of those forward smashes, and Cyber's done a really good job of punishing those. Every time we see one come up, the stun right into another stun. He gets the down beat. He doesn't get a second one. And Booker finally lands a side beat that he's been looking for for most of this set. Oh, wow, the amazing call out right there. Cyber wants to get center stage. And as I said, you got to watch out for it because Booker will read the type of or options that you want and he'll make you punish hard work. <laughs> That second Cyber Down Smash was just barely missed time, but he's been able to recover from here. Just continuing to pressure Booker. Booker goes for a parry, but it doesn't quite pan out. It doesn't quite kill, though, either. Right now, Booker has to be afraid of almost every option. He doesn't want to get back air. He doesn't want to get forward aired off stage. He has to play perfectly, especially since Cyber's at 0%. Uh, we'll see Cyber throwing out the side beat because, honestly, it's a really good kill option and uh, sometimes hard to shield because it likes to poke. Well, here's that potential for a Booker coming back at all. He got 42% there holding control quite a oh, bit, but he's right. grounded now at so much percent. There's no way he gets out <laughs> of this one. You heard him mashing, though. Uh, we have to thank Booker for the uh, LLCC mashing drills where I spent two hours of my lifetime uh, trying to grab somebody. And if I grab somebody, I just roll my stick to my controller break. Oh, yeah. Gotta make him break. Well, we're heading back to Pokemon Stadium 2 here. Uh, Oh, I don't think good. there's no version of Dave's stupid rule in uh, he just picked Ganondorf in this currently. So oh that would definitely explain that that different uh, map choice going on Pokemon Stadium too. I think it was a version of Dave's stupid rule. I, I think I might be wrong. I think I think it was fully removed when uh, the third ban was instituted uh, last month. Wow. Uh, but the Ganondorf pick is uh, definitely a significant one here. Obviously, uh, the matchup was not working out for Booker in these last two games. Is Ganondorf a little less practiced, a little less seen by other players, especially someone like Cyber? He's aware of right here. Man, yep, Cyber Ooh. will take those to the bank. That is an easy pickup. And Cyber does not miss those types of callouts. Nice, but the mix-up has not been working, evidently, because uh, Cyber is just being able to play his same game plan here, playing around Booker's uh, aggression and his shield both very well. Uh, but we've got some more movement options here. That down B we keep seeing grounded in order to uh, try and aggressive has very little end lag and allows him to do that, but it's just not getting him ahead on frames nearly enough. And uh, just so you know, as long as Cyber plays this matchup well, there is... Uh no reason that ZSS should really lose this matchup. Uh, Booker has taken the games off of him, but I don't think he's ever taken a set off of him with his Ganondorf because I know Booker pulled this out on him before. Maybe he thinks it's kind of worked in the past to an extent. Maybe he'll do it now. You see all that shield damage that Gandorf is able to pump out with those smash attacks. Uh, Cyber gets hit by another one. Those he might not be so fortunate not to lose. It. He doesn't get hit by that dash attack, which he could have killed, but the Nair will in the end. Booker's still behind, but that was definitely a solid showing there until he gets hit with this up smash. Trying to get back to stage fast enough to get there before Cyber can hit him. It's not going to work out. He's going low, and it's going to turn out quite all right for him for a little bit. I was doing a great job of calling out the options that he wanted right now. He's signing from Legend Fun. And so, ooh, I like that down there. But um, honestly, ZSS has a lot of range to do the type of stuff that she wants to, and she dictates the pace of this matchup. So Booker has to be scared right now. We're seeing what could be Booker's tur tournament stock because he's 2 0 right now. 
Yeah, I think we've really seen uh, him move towards a more aggressive playstyle here with the Ganondorf, and Cyber's actually playing pretty passive for the most part, waiting for those movement options to come off from both there, and just using uh, his nice ranged disjointed big hitboxes that can put out a lot of damage. Those uh, forward smashes down, so those up smashes. Woohoo! A big ol' spike there. Uh, Ganondorf turning most of his body into a meteor uh, effect right there, but wow. amazing Ooh. damage right there. Cyber not going down there. CSS is free range. You could probably use the edge guarder, but whatever. Right now, we're going to see Booker getting back to stay. No, he's dead. Yeah. Yeah, finally, that big old recovery is not going to be enough. Yeah, you just need bad. to get bopped a little bit further outside of stage. And that's a 3 0 going in favor of Cyber. He's going to move on from Losers Semis up until Losers you know who put Cyber. Cyber to losers? What? Do you know who put Cyber to Losers? I do not. But we do have a bracket on hand over here that we can check out in a moment. We'll see someday. Cyber was actually telling me he, he's been sweating today because, well... Oh, it was Hippo Just in uh, Winner's Semis. Oh, and he's playing against Hippo 